welcome everyone, it's time for us to play Medieval Dynasty. Now you might be thinking, hey, you're usually just running three series and you haven't ended a series just now, what's going on? To which I would reply, you're absolutely right. I have not ended a series and we're not pausing any series, this is a brand new one. This is going to be what I have called on this channel an ad hoc series, which means that basically normally I pre-record to a certain degree. And uh, if I can record more than what I want as a minimum of pre-recorded, I have the option to do some uh, ad hoc series, which basically means that I would record and release either the same day or the day after. So uh, a little bit quicker on the release than my other series, which uh, makes me get a little bit closer to you guys, which, uh, which is kind of what I like. I have reasons for pre-recording quite a lot, I will probably go over that in a video at some point, but it is uh, the case that it is. Now, as for ad hoc series, you might go then, then, which is, hey, don't you have two series running already? Don't you have uh, No Man's Sky and City Skylines 1 for your ad hoc series? To which I would reply, yes, but also no. See, here's the thing, I have decided to discontinue those series. It's a bit sad, I'm not happy about it, but there are reasons for it which I won't go over in too much detail, but uh, let's say, for example, for No Man's Sky, since I started the series, uh, a lot of stuff has happened in the game. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I both like it and it's a bit annoying because it's so bloody close to each other, they are really pumping out updates. I'm not complaining about the updates, it's just for my series, it gets to a point where I can't really keep up. I also haven't released like a video in, I don't know, a year and a half for that series, so that also comes into consideration. And for City Skylines 1, obviously, there's City Skylines 2, which I will I want to do a series on. So those are one reason each for those series, but there are also other reasons. Now, for example, No Man's Sky, I actually do want to have a series on that game running on the channel, but it's going to have to be a little bit later. I might actually want to wait until they literally announce the final update and say that, right, here we go. Final final update, complete game, now I can start. I might do that, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But we are right now in a situation where I can do an, a new ad hoc series. And uh, how often can we expect videos in this series? And I would say that overall, about once a week. Could be more, could be less. It all very much depends, and what it depends on is uh, two things. Number one, that I am a little bit ahead on the number of pre-recorded videos that I want, and it's a day where I can record two videos instead of one, which is uh, today. <laughs> Rather, one. this is one of those days. Now, I had a bit of a think about what kind of game I want to play for an ad hoc series that are not the two that I played previously, and the way that I look at it is that Games that work well for ad hoc series uh, is are games that don't have like a proper ending, if you know what I mean. So, for example, this game, it has a main story, but when the main story is done, that's just it. The main story is done, you can go on and do whatever you want. Now, granted, there are many games that are like this, but this is a game about uh, constructing your little own settlement. Building buildings, recruiting people, etc, etc. So, it's, uh, it's not like, let's say, Starfield in a game where you can also continue. This is more about, uh, you know, puttering around in your own little space and just having a great time, and I kind of like that. So I have no idea exactly for how long this is this series going to run. It's going to be a pretty slow series, so if you are not into that, well, you might want to look at something else I've done. But for those of you who do like a, a rather slow series, this is going to be right down your alley. This is not a game where I'm going to be stressing anything, it's going to go quite slow. I'm not going to do a whole lot of like cuts and stuff like that. It kind of depends. There might be situations where I do want to do that. I know for a fact that when we get into, let's say, mining and stuff, yeah, I might want to do some cuts because there are a number of situations where you basically just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's not too interesting. But I'm going to keep it down to very few cuts anyway. So I might be talking a bit about like other stuff, which I also would like to do at some point. Anyway, that's uh, almost rambling now. We're going to be playing this. I'm going to start this uh, series here. We're going to do a 
let's just say a slightly shorter first episode. We'll see. It kind of depends on how far we get. Now, the beauty about this game, apart from what I've just been talking about, is that uh, it's been three... Is it three? Yeah, three years since I played this. I did two videos on it uh, about three years ago. After that, I realized, bloody hell, I like this game, so I kept playing for about a hundred hours. So I have a bunch of hours in this game, but here's the thing. They have been working on this. It's not maybe No Man's Sky levels of updates, but bloody hell, have they, they done a lot of upgrades and or updates. And I don't know basically anything. I've been glancing at the updates, but not much more than that. So it's gonna be a little bit of reacquainting myself with the game, which I'm 100% okay with. I am dying to see what they have done and how much it has changed since I last played it. So, yes, there you go. We're going to start a new game. We're going to be playing on the valley. They have added the Oxbow, which is a, a map where you can play with more than one people if you want to. You can play it solo. If you go in here, you have a solo variety. But I want to have the... Um, I do want to have the uh, missions and stuff like that that you get in the valley. And as for the game, I've decided that, you know what, on normal, it's fine. It's very relaxed, very chill. I'm going to go to hard at least. There is, what do we have? It's custom, okay. So hard is the, well, the hard difficulty. You can obviously just slide this. Wow, a thousand, <laughs> thousand percent in people's food needs. But no, let's not go that crazy. So we're just going to have everything else set exactly as hard is. So no unlimited HP or stamina or anything like that. We have lack of hunger, we have lack of thirst, etc, etc. Uh, bandits uh, have more health and damage and stuff like that. The same for animals. It's all just going to be slightly more difficult. But I think I can handle it. On normal, it was in some ways quite easy. It wasn't really challenging, which is fine. I didn't really care for that. But for this series, let's make it a little bit more interesting at least. So I think that's about it. We are gonna <clears throat> get into the game and uh, see what it looks like now. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories. I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. in the game so that little intro at first i thought was that new but then i saw the image or picture with the uh, jordan and i realized no it's not new i've seen that before so that's all cool and everything and this starts exactly the same we just arrive at this little junction here we have our map this is what it looks like the map is unchanged we have lovely baranica branca tutki i don't remember that name gotta be honest rolnica denica lesnica yuzerka Horny, the horny place, Hornica. And then Gusto Gustovia, Gustovia, I think, and Barobo. Gustovia is sort of the main place. And since the map hasn't changed, I've already decided where we are going to build our place. It's basically the same place as I did my own, which is going to be over in this place. The reason why? Well, it's bloody well in the middle, isn't it? Well, of course, this is sort of more in the middle, but it's way too hilly to build anything on. This is a perfect place right down here. So that's going to be the goal. And yeah, now we just begin. And one of the reasons why I didn't want to play on the Oxbow map is that it's all custom. Okay, it's cool to create your, like, custom. We're just finding a bunch of stuff. Good. Uh, it's obviously cool to uh, create your own 
character and everything, lovely as that is, I want to play this sort of main mission. So we're, we're Razimir, that's our name. And I want to see if I can find, I don't know if it's randomized or something, but I know that you're supposed to be able to find a place with a shovel. And shovel is uh, later tech. Like, we can't even make a shovel right now, I don't think. Yeah, that's not how we do it. This is how we do it. If we go into handcrafting and a shovel, okay, we might actually be able to do it, but it's uh, logs and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, that's fine. Yeah, much of this is exactly as it was before. I'm trying to gauge, is it looking better? I'm not 100% sure, but I see something. No, that is... I thought it was something. It was just a rock. Cool. Uh... I mean, I don't know if you're supposed to be able to find, like, something. Hello, Foxy Fox. We're going to be hunting you later. So, all right, then. Oh, you know what? While we're here, collecting resources. Oh, apparently I do have tutorials on. Sure, we can have some tutorials. Let's just get some unripe berries. We can't eat them right away, but we can at least, I think, cook them or something. I don't know. How did we make a knife? Five sticks, two stones. We should do that one. Stick, stick, stick. Stick, stick, stone, stone. We are extremely crafty, so this is how we make a knife. This is also how we get knowledge and stuff like that. We are probably not going to get into, like, ability points and stuff like that just yet. Uh, now we should be able to... How did I... Equip. There we go. Shabam! I have a knife. Lovely. That is a good start, right there. Uh, no shovel, though. Bit sad, but it's fine. I could potentially just keep on picking up some sticks, because I know I'm going to need them. Oh, also, moral mushroom. Lovely. So, it's going to be basically sort of a... See how fast we can go to get our own little house. We can obviously get more sticks from those. We are going to pick up a bunch of sticks. But we are also going to want a bunch of stones. And they obviously weigh more, but uh, for now we can probably just pick up a handful. Because uh, the knife is not going to last forever. So I, I, I do know that uh, at some point when you get into stone production and stuff like that, by which I mean producing houses with stone, which you don't really need to do in the beginning, man, you need a lot of stone. Ooh, can I? Can I? Oh, come here, fox! No, you're a bit too fast for me. Let's not care about that right now. Right, why don't we indeed start the game as you're intended to do? Do we have... Yes, we have stamina. Does stamina come back if I just do this? Yes, it does. Good. And obviously we do have, like, all the regular stuff, like, uh, you have to eat, you have to drink, and stuff like that. That is uh, the way that this game works. Look at this lovely Gustavia. It's a lovely place. I mean, I want to say that it looks better. I'm gonna have to basically try and compare this to uh, to my older videos and see if it actually is. Ooh, right, you can be a bit stealthy too. You have stealth in this game, by the way, and you have stealing. So you can go, you can like say, I want stuff. There is a place where, uh, at least uh, again, if I remember correctly, you can get like an axe, which is very good, instead of making one. But obviously it's a bit tricky to do that. So this is going to be a really super open-ended series, by the way. If you didn't already understand that. So we could do this. But it's also empty, so let's not bother with that one. You really need to be careful if uh, you're going to steal stuff, obviously. Obviously. Oh, here we go. No, those are... Oh, but we can't get plants. Look at this. Am I being seen? I don't know. Do I, I do not have a marker for if I'm in stealth. Is that something I can unlock? I don't know. You know how it is with monarchs. Do what they say, but do not get too close to them. And apparently you don't want to look at me while you say that. <laughs> That's not nice. You look at the person you're talking to. Alright, you know what? Why don't we just go and have a chat with uh, Jordan the Castellan? No, we're not. Here we go. Ooh, look at this. Simple torch. Iron knife. Only 60% of a cudgel. Ooh, here we go. It is here. It is here. Child. 
shut up while I steal this. Dinah's reputation has been a bit lost, but I don't care. Oh, don't, don't do that. I didn't steal anything. No one saw me do that. No one saw me do that. It's all fine. I can I can deal with that. Uh, I can deal with that. Castellan, don't, uh, I don't want to say anything about... Ooh, I think, yeah, this is absolutely new. Sort of overgrown. Oh, it's lovely. Hopefully we can do that. Right. Castellan, where are you, Mr. Jordan? No, it's Unigost. Sorry, it's not Jordan. Hello, Unigost. So th th those eyes, I, I didn't think I would see them again. One blue as the sky and the other black like a lump of coal. So yes, there's a bit of, you know, storytelling in this game. I like it. Are you alright? You look like you've seen a ghost or that's funny. My grandmother used to describe them exactly the same way. Isn't that funny how that works? So you're not a ghost. Good. For a second there I thought I lost it, haha, <laughs> but your eyes, you look just like him. Sorry, you must have, mi have mistaken me with someone. I'm new in this parts. So just arrived at the valley, actually. My name is Razimir. I am Wanda's son, aren't you? You're the nephew. Well, how the hell did you know my mother? Not really, I knew of her. We didn't ever, ever actually meet. He wanted to keep his family separate. Okay, I don't understand. You will wait. What do you mean by did I know her? Is she well? Well, I hope she is now, whatever that, wherever that may be. I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it, this world. Oh, I guess it can't be as cruel as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, my boy. Nobody should lose their loved ones at such a young age. Well, it's okay. They've died so I could live, and I plan to make the best of this life that I can in order to honor their sacrifice. Or, yeah, I don't really want to talk about it. No, no, no. Let's talk about the sacrifice. That's very much sure of you. I'm sure they would be proud hearing that. So, my uncle J Jordan, you mentioned him, and I actually came here looking for him. Oh, Razmir, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Your uncle Jordan is no longer with us. He's passed away uh, three years ago. I'm so sorry. I understand how you must feel. He was a dear friend of mine. Okay, so, I can be very, very upset about this. Let's be very upset about it. Oh, no, that can be. What happened? Don't worry, he died peacefully in his sleep. He didn't suffer. I can promise you that. Well, okay, what the hell do I do now? You're free to go wherever you like and start a new life. I hereby grant you the permission of the Castellan to build and farm on any unutilized land in the valley. Construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can even build a whole village if you please. There are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your settlement. Okay, so just like that. No, no land, or rather no charge for this land. Well, you'd have to pay taxes to the king annually, but apart from that, you're free to do as you please, as long as you don't break the law, or uh, break the law, of course, or at least if I don't, uh, or rather, or, or at least if you don't get caught doing so. You're not gonna get caught. That sounds amazing. The valley looks beautiful as well. I think I'll stay here and see what fate has in store for me. I'm glad to hear that. You can find resources all over the land, grab a few rocks and sticks from the ground, and craft yourself a simple axe. With it, you can cut down trees and chop them into logs. Then you can create a wooden hammer that will be crucial in the building process. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Okay, let's listen. When you build yourself a home, come back to Gustovia and talk to my wife, Dobreniega. She manages the tavern, ask her to feed you. You must be famished and then grab some beers for both of us and come back. I'll tell you some stories about Jordan. Sounds like a plan to me. There we go, we got a bunch of stuff that we can do. Stone axe, I amazingly already have a stone axe. Would you believe it? <clears throat> right. <laughs> now, a wooden hammer. Can I make that with what I picked up? No, I can't because we need a bloody log for that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> A whole log for just a hammer. So these are going to be the people, by the way, that we can recruit. They gather around the pits. We have Norberta, we have Grozlava. Wait, is that how it's? Grozislava. And then Ingrida. And we are going to want ourselves a wife. So we're going to want to look for a particularly pu pu beautiful one, I suppose. But it might not be any of you. I don't know. Let's uh, get a move on. But we're going to just... Uh, just going to... Just going to... Just going to poke our noses around a little bit. Okay, no one leaves their stuff uh, uh, full of things for me to just pick up. Bloody hell. Right. This is new. Who the hell are you? Are you going to be like a traitor, I suppose? I say it's new. It might be new. Wagoner. Oh, I can hitch a ride. That's lovely. So, okay. Any recent things? 
to the key. You should go there. I suppose there is someone in need of your assistance. Isn't that lovely? So that is also a thing that's just going to happen. People are going to want our help. Also, where, where, which one is that? That's Borovo. So, yeah, it is a bit interesting, this whole thing, which is that there's a bunch of settlements here, and the Castella just went, hey, you can you can just do a new one. <laughs> what if we steal all the uh, trade or something like that? How is that going to work out? So I think that, yes, you know what? The important bit is to have a place to live. Now, I happen to indeed know a few things about this game, so I know that we're going to need a whole truckload of straws. <laughs> That's just a thing that's gonna be a thing. And we're just gonna gather... How much do I need? Probably in the 30s or something like that. And we're gonna want to uh, get more of this as well. We're gonna level survival, because we're picking up stuff. That's how you level survival. Obviously, then sort of the easiest one to indeed level. So, how much am I up to? And how do I open inventory? It's on I. We have now. That's a stolen one. It's fine. Uh, 44 straw. You know, we're going to start with that because I don't remember exactly how much we need. Let's also pick up a few more stones. And then we are going to. Uh, how do I. How do I. I probably do it from here. Uh, 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 can I. Can equip it, but like drop stacks or items categories. Right, here we go, here we go. Right. You did that. There we go. So we're looking quite shabby right now, and we're only 18 years old. We are gonna oh yes, tree cutting. I think I know exactly how this works. We're just gonna whap away on this lovely maple tree here. And obviously the better weapon, rather weapon, the better axe you have, the more you can get from it. Uh, that's all fine. We don't need to worry about that right now, because we are gonna... Oh, bloody hell. There we go. Shabam. Logs. Uh, yeah. Just just pick them up. Stuff it in my backpack. There we go. Uh, we are gonna create ourselves a hammer. And then we are gonna go to where we need to be. Now, on our way... Isn't this lovely? It's free stuff. Lost shipment. Oh, would you believe it? Uh, no, I want to transfer. There we go. Uh... Wasn't there a... Oh, is this just the entire thing, then? Oh, that was not worth it. We can also still be on the lookout for... Shovels. Just FYI. Can still be on the lookout. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. This could be good as well. All right. Just a bit of wheat. I mean, I'll take it. There could also be... Other things. But not on this account. Ooh. Oh, that's just sticks. <laughs> right? Right, right, right. Keep on going. Oh, I just love being back in this game. I, this is just a fantastic little game, this. Um, indeed, as they have been upgrading... Uh, still not upgrading. Well, it is upgrades, I suppose, but updating. Since they have done that, also, it's very interesting for me to get back, because there's going to be a whole bunch of new stuff. And what it looks like, maybe a lot to do with, indeed, building your own settlement. Which is obviously the most interesting thing. I think I've already spotted a fox, but apparently the game is uh, adamant that I haven't, and just now did it. Sure, let's keep moving. We are still quite a bit away from where we need to be. Not too bad, though. Uh, rabbits, cool. Is that because we're, like, finding... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hunting... I think we're simply not smart enough. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, there we go. We can sort of uh, gauge where we should be going if we want to hunt th certain things. Can I even make a... No. So, oh, projectiles and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's going to be one thing that I can do. Also, we should pick up some mushrooms. And those are not the plantains. Fine. Mushrooms, 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 I think. Can we eat? I don't even know if moral mushrooms were the good ones. I don't remember. Uh, but yes, we do need to eat at some point. Drink is going to be absolutely zero problem because we're going to have access to running water. So that is absolutely fine. Here's a good place for stone, would you believe it? 
And yeah, what I don't, uh, <laughs> what I don't miss about the game is indeed the need for stone because bloody hell, do you need a lot of stone eventually? What are you? You're a Saint John's work. We're just gonna pick up some random things as well. What? Where did the plantains? Are the plantains like further in? I think they are. Some of these are for like healing items, etc., etc. I think I don't fully remember. Uh, all right then, we find another wagon. Potion of Strength, Potion of Sobriety, Potion of Instant Healing too lovely. And a small bundle with poison, that is not the same. <laughs> but uh, it's in the same vein, I suppose. Oh, Potion of Night Vision, also very cool. So there are potions in this game, might sound weird, but yes there is. So keep on trucking, we're getting close now. Where is this? Well actually, are we right here? Yes, we are right here. So the way that I did this before is I basically just used this road as, or rather, these two roads as the thing that I was sort of closing everything off with. So I think I want to do basically the same, because uh, I can show you a little bit about this place, which is, well, actually, yeah, let's check it out first before I commit. And obviously there's going to be a whole bunch of redecorating and moving of things, etc, etc, later. Don't worry about that. But if we come over here, the reason why we want to be sort of mainly on this side, at least, yeah, okay, you know what? We could be a little bit on this side. Might want to have the farming on this side. That is true. That is true. So, more stuff. Water skin, very useful. A stone knife, thank you, we don't have to create it. And some leather, also very nice, good. Still no shovel though, shovels are very nice. Well actually, okay, both yes and no. I thought shovels were really important before because when you chop down a tree, you can use a shovel to uproot it, the remainder of the tree. But we're not going to do that. Or actually, we are going to do it on some locations, like here, because I probably don't want trees here. But wherever you want trees, you don't want to do that, because uh, if you uproot a tree, it obviously doesn't regrow. But if you don't, it does indeed regrow. So, yeah, you know what? This seems fine. I tend, I did before, like, build upwards a little bit. But I also realized that building within the this little sort of triangle, if you would, section... It's a lot of space, like a lot of space, and we can also build stuff over here. We could also do farming over here, I suppose. Yeah, you know what, farming over here could be nice, because I think I did farming here, but that would be a little bit silly if we have a lot of other space for that. And obviously the farms don't need to be like protected or anything. I don't even know if anything needs to be protected, to be honest. Water, absolutely. And yes, as I said, we do have access to proper water over here. So we can just uh, go and grab some. We should really start to uh, work on our, <laughs> on our on our home. So here we go. Here's some water for us. And we're bam, we're full. Lovely. Now, we need to chop down three more trees for the mission. Why don't we just do these two? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to actually collect all of the logs. But that's absolutely fine if I don't. So, have that come down. Shop once to get rid of... Shop once to get rid of ashes. There we go. Uh, lovely. Log, log, and log. That was only... Was that only two blocks? That's very cheap. So, I think that... Yes, different trees give you different things, I think. Or different amounts. Okay, building I know. Chill out. I could potentially get rid of the... Uh, oh, bloody hell. Yes, overload. I get it. It might be fine. Can I even... Oh. Am I not allowed to pick up? Pick up? I am not even allowed to pick up. Okay, that's uh, fine. So, do I want to build the house where I want to build it, so to speak? Where it's going to sit? I mean, I'm probably going to have to rebuild it anyway. So I might just... Uh, because, you know, you get like upgrades and new houses and stuff like that. So I might just want to do it uh, sort of to the side a little bit. I am still in position. I am still in position. This, this stone axe is still gone, by the way. Which is fine. Uh, right, we can just build it on the side here. It's absolutely fine. Uh, that's the wrong button. I'm going to learn the buttons at some point. 
Uh, we have the wooden hammer, we'll set that on three, and now we do build mode, which is with the right hand button. We need to build ourselves. Build. Why can't I click it? Uh, game. What's up? That's jumping. What's going on? Select build mode. Okay. <laughs> tutorial. Where is the tutorial? Wait. Why isn't it? Uh, I just want to. All right. I'm, I am in build mode. There we go. Houses. We need to do a simple small house. The obstacle here is the road. So we're just going to get back a little bit until we can build it. There we go. And now we just need to build a whole bunch of stuff. We need stones. Would you believe it? We need stones. Uh, right. We can find stones in the vicinity. And the way that this work, at least it will work like that. Sleep. Yes. <laughs> it's not a thing I can do right now. It's absolutely fine. Or it's gonna be. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, the way that, it, that we do this is that we can, at least we'll, we might be able to, uh, or we will be able to, I mean, is to change the materials of things. Uh, so if we do, uh, if we do this... Okay, not here, but that's fine. So let's just whack this a whole bunch of time. We are going to go through a lot of wooden hammers before we get to the next level of hammers. So there we go. Shabam. Now, we can do things, can't we? Or is it just the, fra the framing is the framing. I get it. That's fine. So whack that together. We have the logs. So we are just going to... Well, actually, we might have to deal with... A little bit of shopping down here. We can chop down a few trees. And again, if we don't uh, uproot the stump, it will come back. So we don't lose the issues of lovely, lovely trees. Uh, let's get over to the stone ask. Uh, we are going to have to use that. And just looking, for, just looking for things. Did we do that? Yes, we did. Get that. You know what? I think that, if I'm not incorrect, these trees give you slightly more logs, maybe? Spruce? Does spruce give us more logs than just two that the birches give us? Potentially. Timber. Good. Bam. Bam. Yes, log, log, and log. Three on that one. Uh, back over to wooden hammer. And let's see if I picked up enough straw here. <laughs> I have no idea. So whack that in. Now, we are going to need a whole bunch of stuff so we can indeed edit. We can get with everything. So we have the door here, window here. Uh... You know what? I'm okay with the selection here. So we're gonna need a lot of logs. <laughs> and then we can have the roof, which is also straw. Or other which is straw. We can actually do other things. But planks, we are not at planks yet. So it's gonna have to be that we are gonna need a lot of these bloody things. So we're gonna have to make ourselves some stone axes because we are not uh, <laughs> we're not there just yet, are we? with the good tools that is. So let's just shop you, and then we have used that one. What do we need for another? Stone. Oh, bloody hell. Yes, crafting. It's it's not really what we're doing right now. We are doing another stone axe, because it's going to get dark before we are done with a bed. We shall see if uh, that's fine. Again, shop, shop, shop. But as I said, and as you can probably tell already, this is going to be a slow, a slow episode. Well, a, bit, a slow, a slow series. It's going to be a whole lot of this and not a whole lot of cuts. So um, hopefully you are down for this. I know that I am. So, yep, yeah, I hope that we are agreed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Lovely. So can you just also reiterate that... Uh, we shall see how often you get to see series of this. Right now, I have the ability to do 
some but i can't say exactly when the next uh, episode is gonna be hopefully soon but we'll see so just sticks now for the door bam and we have unlocked the well which is not gonna be super useful to us but i suppose a little bit food is fine we're gonna eat soon so let's just get this when you chop down trees unless you missed that we do get some sticks uh, when doing that too obviously so that's why we have a lot of sticks more more way more than i have picked up more logs yeah you're just gonna need so many things while we build up everything a lot of logs just a ton of logs which is oh it's great uh so there we go that's done we are just gonna have to go chop down like three more trees here hopefully that oh i i am i am a little bit uh, a little bit out of breath here uh while we're waiting for that to come back do i have i do have right we can eat this we also have apples that's nice uh so eat that that does not much <laughs> but we can also go we do have some dried meat too oh, i meant to eat this there we go lovely um but yes part of the story is obviously as he said go back and chat with my wife she will hook you up with food now that is uh, definitely a offer we are gonna take obviously free food can't say no to that so go that comes down let's do another one it is getting dark we are gonna have to work even though it's dark okay it's all fine you can do this mate you're gonna have to because you are now in the dark <laughs> we don't have a torch yet because <laughs> i didn't steal one so i thought it was wrong stole an axe that i didn't really need to steal either <laughs> oops oh we got some feathers too feathers uh, is definitely nice to get a few because uh, we are going to need that when we start making ourselves some arrows. Yes, we're going to be hunting in this game. Lovely. So there we go. Got us a bunch of sticks too. I think this might be it for the walls. And might even... Do I have the logs for the roof? Might have the logs for the roof. But obviously we need to make the bed too. And I don't think I have enough for the bed. Uh, we do have that thing the attic that we can't even go to but it is what it is i think i have enough straw yes it was 32 32 is the amount of straws that you need and we are actually gonna be done with the house here but we are indeed gonna need a bed to sleep on so that is gonna be a thing that we do right after oh we are maybe not done i just realized because we have the sides too i completely forgot about those but i think we are gonna be having enough anyway because i don't think that those take eight straw i think, think bloody hell <laughs> i don't have a hammer anymore uh we need a bunch of sticks for that that is bloody hell that's a window there we go uh, are you you are not stick bushes okay where do i have some stick bushes at least this game doesn't get like super dark so it's still you know fairly visible do i not have and here we go here's the stick bush thank you uh was that enough it was not enough uh stick bush stick bush here stick bush stick bush well, let me just uh grab a few more of those because i think we're gonna actually need it when it comes to building a bed so let's just be a little bit better for it there we go lovely uh let's also make the hammer lovely and a good thing about this game is that the game actually does remember where you had items which hotkey so it replaces it automatically very nice so there we go it was logs for this i didn't even think it was logs but it was uh oh, but it was only uh four sticks so we're good so it was 40 i think there we go ta-da and now chapters this my yeah i think that this was still in the game when i played so chapters are a series of missions that appear at the beginning of the game and introduce you to the game mechanic. 
mechanics. It also assists you in the initial stages of your new settlements, construction, containing shelters, allow you to unlock the next development stage, which determines the maximum limit of buildings you can construct. So we do want to get on that as much as possible. Now, bloody hell, it's dark in here. <laughs> uh, decorate. Ooh, what can we decorate with? Cool. Ooh, lighting trophies. Oh, this is cool. Candlestick. Iron bar. Okay, we're not there yet. <laughs> now, uh, buildings. Handcrafting. Buildings. Do -do 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 -do. Services. Storage. Extraction. No. Furniture. Uh, 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 campfires. Traps. Containers. Did I say... I read, I read scats. That's not it. Seats. <laughs> uh, tables, benches, chairs. Where the hell are the beds? <clears throat> Where the hell are the beds? Campfire, traps, containers. Hold on. Where do we have Pla Ooh, platforms and stuff? Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's a bit new, I think. Why do I not have a bed? House, this is just a house. Buildings, platforms, fences, furniture. Bench. No, those are benches. Those are sitting things. Those are eating things. Where the hell are the bats? What, what am I missing here? It's not in handcrafting. Okay, trap and stuff like that, but that's not really what I want to do right now. Extraction is just extraction. We have a well for water. This is just for the big thing, if you know what I mean. It should very much be here. Oh, do I need to literally... No, it can't be that I need to actually unlock the damn thing. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not sure. Where did we do technology? Yes, but surely. Gates, sheds, barrow. Gates, fences and stuff like that. Simple house. There are no bets here there are no bets <laughs> lower himali that's an interesting thing i am confused now the way that this works by the way is that uh, we have unlocked the well because we've done building and then we just unlock more things but here when we get to resource storage one we spend coin in order to unlock things so that's how that works now, skills. We have actually got skills in survival. So, five more experience gave from survival activities. Two degrees more temperature tolerance could be nice. Poison resistance, but no, we want uh, this one. So, let's increase the level for that. Like so. But, bloody hell, how do, what do I have a bed? Oh, I might even have the bed. I have a bed. There we go. Oh, I can actually. Oh, not yet. I can customize it. Uh, I can customize it. How do I customize it? Uh, simple bed, sorry bad, comfy bed. Okay, so we can't actually place it. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Let's have a bit of a sleep. We'll have a sleep to the next day. And you say that we have survived one complete day. Isn't that just a grand? There we go. Rasimir gets up for a brand new day. Hammer in hand. And that is where we're going to end this episode. We have built ourselves a house. We have done the absolute first bit of thing. And we can manage the signboard and say that uh, right now, well, it is actually true. Razimir, he is the guy in here. His mood is not very good, but it's going to get better, hopefully. And oh, hopefully he's going to have more people living with him. So, yeah, that's the beginning of Medieval Dynasty. And hopefully, as I said, I can get back to this quite soon. We shall see. But also it might be... A little bit until you see another episode. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully not. I have a good feeling that I will be able to do more than I did with Norman Sky and City Skylines 1. 
So yes, pray for me, I suppose. I'm just going to pick this one up and uh, there we go. We're going to end the episode right there and hopefully you'll be back when this will be back. <laughs> And hopefully you'll enjoy watching me stumble around this world. And hopefully also building something very, very beautiful. We shall see. For now though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.